This is the most money hungry 2K has ever been, and of course, that's saying a lot. They dropped recently the first 100 overall in my team history, but also before 99 overalls are even in the game, and those are also only able to be opened through gambling, which we'll talk about in a minute. But anyway, Badge Plug went to Twitter and he said, 2K said our BC is fictions and basically aren't real, but oddly enough, it shows up on my bank statements. Seems pretty real to me. If it isn't real, then make VC free. How about that? So as you all know, 2K is currently getting sued for shutting down their old servers too fast and also their egregious microtransactions. Their response from their lawyers was, hey, you can't sue us over VC basically because it's not real. So if it isn't real, then how about we make it free, 2K? Let's talk about that. Why not? Let's have a discussion. But anyway, QBZ went to Twitter and said, the question is how many people read the terms, LOL. This is take two terms, so Rockstar is on it not just 2k so you have to agree for gta 5 red dead redemption etc also activision has had about the same thing come out in theirs in 2022 so basically all this stuff you're probably going to have to sign on gta 6 any sort of game that is correlated with rockstar and take two you're going to have to sign saying you don't own anything of course unless you do the opting out which i will be doing on the 28th after you agree you have to opt out within 30 days send them a written notice which we talked about before i will be doing anyway someone responded under my tweet and I, just, I can't stand it, bro. People say something like this. There's no difference than any other major game. Call of Duty, Fortnite, they charge $20 to run around as an anime character. And someone responded and said, yeah, but COD keeps their old game servers up so you can go back and play them online and with all your in-game purchases. 2K cuts the servers off after two years. Now, I don't know if you guys play Call of Duty or even know what it is. You probably do. A lot of people in the 2K community play it or have played it before, but you can go back right now and play the first online Call of Duty like 15 years ago, as long as, of course, there's someone else on the servers to give you an online game. You can play any Call of Duty online to this day. They never shut down the servers. That is a gigantic, huge difference. Anyway, I went to Twitter and I wanted to make sure you guys understood this, and this is very important. I said, Here's your reminder that yes, 2K currently has the license to use NBA players, which is the big driver keeping out competition because it's so expensive, but that doesn't mean someone can't come in and create a game with park slash rec, whatever, with created players and builds. Game Freak, the creators of Pokemon, have been making garbage for years and Power World came out of nowhere with an insanely smaller budget and showed them they can not only compete with them, but make something even better. Better. Now, we've been talking about how Power World could be changing the gaming market, and 2K needs to not keep their head so high. Someone can come out and make a better basketball game. The reason why we don't see anyone else making one is because the license is so expensive to use LeBron James' name in the game and things like that. But you don't have to make a game that is just for the license. You can make a street game, a part game, rec, whatever it is with created players and animations that has no ties to the NBA. There's nothing saying you can't do that. So think about this. Of course, 2K has the entire basketball market with this license. They're able to do my GM and my team. So they're able to get a huge portion of every single spot where you could possibly get someone to buy a 2K video game for, right? So if someone was to make a video game without the license, they wouldn't be able to hit the my gym community or the my team and things like that most likely because those people aren't going to care so there's going to be a smaller portion but they don't have to spend like 300 million dollars per year or somewhere close to that to get the nba license so instead of doing that they're going to be able to put all that into gameplay advertisements and making an actual good game i'm telling y'all it is 100 a possibility that someone could make a better basketball game it's just not going to be tied to having nba players and stuff like that anyway under that tweet someone told me he said i've played some mobile games that have a sort of my league feel to it and they're done way better you just got to get past the teams being called the chicago cows and miami fire i mean there is even room for them to make that in their game as well. Someone commented, don't need NBA players or their animations to enjoy a new game of basketball. Just need a good, balanced, and fun game without the microtransactions. It has to start somewhere, and when that happens, I'm pretty sure everyone will hop off the 2K bandwagon eventually. So I'm telling y'all, bro, even if they're not going to make a my GM and stuff like that, Park is one of the biggest modes for 2K. That's millions and millions of players. If they just did it for that mode, 
with creative players, good gameplay, passionate and vocal devs, someone could be successful and think about how many people are going to just buy that game out of spite because they're mad at 2K. So at first, it's just gonna be a spite game because 2K has been making for a lot of people's opinions a game that is just, you know, okay, it's average. They could obviously do much better. So they're gonna buy that just to say, hey, 2K, we're tired of you. And then if the game is actually good, it can really compete with them. Anyone's, anyway, someone commented on my page as we talked about power in the last video, and he says, I love the fact that you brought it up, Poke versus Pokemon, because yeah, 2K has NBA licensing, but if we like playing Park, Rec, Chrome, etc., with creative players, what's stopping a company from giving us that without the NBA behind it? I make builds, go straight to the Rec. I don't need to play my career. I don't need to do my NBA rebuilds that I like if there was a basketball game that I could create a player and load up with the homies and get some runs in. 2K holds NBA hostage, but they can't stop a basketball game being better so i feel like a lot of people haven't thought about that but also as we've been talking about all this greed with 2k and i just want you guys right now to drop a like on this video if anything recently has made you upset 2k's actions right you might not have been planning on suing 2k or anything like that but just what you're seeing if it's been upsetting you drop a like let's see how many people are mad at 2k at the moment of course that just helps this video get more views and out to more people for more awareness as well so i appreciate you guys man because the videos have been going crazy but anyway let's hop back into it okay so dbg a my team youtuber who is super into my team and even if you don't play my team this is extremely important because this is the craziest greed i've almost ever seen 2k do if not the most he said the worst day in my team history this was just the other day you see that had 700 likes 2k added 100 overalls into the game the kareem abdul card is 100 overall they've never ever had that you got to think about how crazy that is my team's been around in 2k for like seven years now eight year no actually it's like eight or nine years they've never had a 100 overall card that means that their earnings was actually really bad we've seen they were down seven percent they lost what was it 91 million dollars or 94 million dollars and they tried to play it off like oh this was slightly worse than expectations but obviously as we're seeing my team is their cash cow dropping 100 overalls is insane it must have been a lot worse than they thought so in my opinion I don't actually see the numbers, but I would say that there is more park players than my team players. But the reason why my team gets so much more content is because my team actually makes more money. If you think about it, you know, to make a build, it costs, let's say, a hundred bucks. You have to grind it out. You have to get your clothing, your animations, your badges. It's going to take you like, at the very least, a few days to max out a player. So you spend a hundred bucks. It's going to take a few days to where you can even get on to that next build to spend more money. Now, well, in my team, you can spend a hundred bucks quick and then another hundred bucks quick i mean there's people that actually do this you might not be a part of that but yes i believe that my team per player makes way more money than park so that's why they do that but anyway as you all see right here dbg went to twitter and he said if you're complaining about the 2k player base being extremely unhappy with 2k doing everything in their power to force people to gamble in a game rated e for everyone you're on the wrong side if anything the my team community have been too lenient on 2k for this so we're going to talk about this in a second as we got some more tweets here about my team because not only did they drop a 100 overall but all the players that are actually really good apparently are only able to be got through packs only gambling is the way to get them used to you could actually get them from a market and things like that you can't now so dbg said this right here the direction 2k have taken with 2k24 my team is indefensible the best cards in the game are now gambling only if ea pulled this with fifa there would be 100 mainstream media articles criticizing them for it might be the lowest point in sports gaming history you guys understand this dude is super deep into my team i mean it's basically his life you know what i'm saying he's a my team creator saying it's the worst thing that has ever happened in my team it's very crazy what's going on right now bro you can't even get good cards anymore ty debo the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar my team tournament winner went to twitter and said yikes LeBron, Giannis, Kareem, all behind gambling. Pretend this quote-unquote content doesn't exist. I mean, you got dudes really going to 2K's neck about how bad this is. Now, I've seen my team tweeted out this right here. 
Season 4 Super Pack is out now, and at the bottom it says available in the pack market in my team, right? In the pack market in my team. Make sure you guys understand that's what it said, but apparently in one of the earlier posts where this guy said we didn't forget under that said available in the player market and pack market. They literally changed the wording on it to where you have to gamble to get what you want. Now the best cards in the game, including that 100 overall, by the way, that apparently like four next makers got and there was only like 50 in the world, which is pretty funny to me, is all gambling. You cannot, there's no way to earn it besides opening a pack and getting lucky to get the card. Do you, like, I don't know, bro. That is just crazy to me how bad 2K is doing with this earnings call. Like, obviously, that earnings was much worse than they thought, and they tried to play it off with, oh, it was just, you know, slightly below expectations. I don't know about that. I really don't know, especially after 2K's actions in the last few weeks after the earnings came out. So anyway, all said he went to Twitter, and this is what he said right here. I thought it was pretty interesting for you guys to see. Here's the thing. I don't think most people were completely naive or ignorant to all these companies that have very similar TOS. I think it just has a stronger impact on us when it comes from 2K. I think a lot of all of us have already feeled or feel felt finesse. This just adds another layer. My bad. But yes, like, okay, other companies have this and we've talked about how that's really shouldn't even be a thing to say anyway, by the way. Oh, well, other companies do it, so it's okay. But think about like, let's say Fortnite has it with Epic Games. You don't own the skins that, you know, you bought. Okay, who is getting banned on, on Fortnite? Who's losing their skins? Who is having trouble getting their player back from Fortnite? Nobody. They're, I'm sure they have a great system to be able to get their stuff back. And also, the game never shuts down. You don't have to worry about losing what you just grinded because the game is there tomorrow. It's here next year. It's here. And you could give it to your grandkids because the servers are still going to be on. So, yes, I do believe that a lot of people already were understanding that, yes, some other companies do this. But it feels much worse when it's 2K because they've already got so many shady practices. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I want to talk about this because I don't know how someone or multiple people have came up to this because I've seen a few people say this. You guys know, I read all the comments. This guy said, it's not as bad as people say, LOL. They're just not as good of players and they thought they were because the builds are not OP. That was his response to one of my recent news videos. And I want you guys to understand that in the last like three news videos, I don't even think 5% of what we've been talking about is the gameplay. And that's bad, by the way. That's really bad. We're not even talking about the gameplay here. We're talking about everything around what 2K is doing and how malicious these things. Like, is it actually egregious how bad these microtransactions are getting and it's only getting worse. Like it's like they, they dropped a 100 overall player in my team, bro. It's as ob it's right there in front of our face. And anyway, Cognizable, he said it just makes zero sense how they leave certain stuff for old gen like my cords, but then give us stuff that no one asked for, and it doesn't even work half the time you try to use it. So I don't know if you guys know this. I just wanted to throw this in the video because I don't think we've talked about it this year. I made a video where I went to last gen and tried it out. So you guys that seen that video did see it. But yeah, last gen, prehistoric gen, I'm going to show you all right here. If you haven't seen it, it has a my court. And not only does it have a my court, it actually looks pretty good. Like I, it blows my mind <laughs> that 2K doesn't have a my core on next gen but they have a new good looking one on last gen you have to go into the gatorade facility and play next to people like what it doesn't make any sense to me so back to what i was saying is all of this has been about 2k's shady practices and what's going on with the future we haven't even really talked about gameplay. This isn't about whether the game is good or not. You know what I'm saying? We have really not even touched on that for no, over, like I said, 95% of what we've been talking about, bro. The future is not looking good if we keep accepting this. And I told y'all in the last video, as I thought about it more as well, I want to give y'all an update. I'm not sure as a content creator, if I'm going to spend any more money for the rest of the year 
on VC. I don't, I'm not sure if I am. My other account, my backup, you know, LLL999, you guys have seen that. I spent the rest of my VC on a new build that's coming soon that's just me, you know, trying to entertain you guys and I'm not trying to make you make a build. But I'm saying I spent that VC. My other account, my main account, Badgy Plug, you guys see right here, has like 400K left. I don't know, bro. When I'm done with this little VC reserve I got, reserve I got, I might not spend any more money for the rest of the year. And I'm also still thinking that I want to try to be very cautious next year as well with spending my money on VC because I'm obviously really in this trap with you guys as well, which we've talked about before. It's not just, you know, the content creator's fault. It's not the consumer. Like, it's everybody's fault that we've got this far. It's 2K's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's every single person's. I'm stuck in this trap as well, especially because it is my job. You know what I'm saying? I literally started a 2K channel because I was passionate about basketball. 2K wasn't nearly what they were. Like, I started in, like, 2K16 at the time. So, it's just unfortunate that, you know, I can't just, like, stop playing the game and just stop paying my bills and get a new job the next day like it's not that easy you know what i'm saying it's not that easy to just play another game as well because i'm passionate about basketball so i just want to make sure you guys understand that i'm in the rat race with you and i'm also thinking about just not spending as much vc hopefully spending about half next year and i think that a lot of people need to be more cautious about how much they spend because like we talked about in the last video Yes, 2K is the only game right now, and that's been a huge thing, the only basketball game. So people think, well, it's the only basketball game. I got to play it. And that's understandable, okay? So that's, I think, a big reason why we're here. But VC is, from what we've seen, apparently like 75% of 2K's money. They only make around 25% of their money off the game sales. So like we talked about in the last video, what I'm trying to finally get to is that you can buy the game still, just try to spend less money if you want to be a part of like, you know, trying to get 2K to listen, trying to lower their sales. I'm not saying I'm necessarily trying to do that. And like Brutal Sim said in his last video, he's not holding up the torch anymore and trying to get people to march with him. I'm not doing that either. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you guys the information and then telling you how I feel and what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want based upon what you're hearing. It's just like when the news videos come out for 2K25, just like I did for 2K24 and 2K23. I'm going to tell you guys over and over like a broken record, buy the game if you want to buy the game. Do not buy the game because of these videos. Only buy the game if you personally want to buy the game. You know, I'm not trying to lead this march anymore because it doesn't do anything. It's really at the end of the day, it is up to the people to stop spending money, vote with their wallets, just like me. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to be more careful next year, more cautious. Also this year with uh, spending less money. But one thing before we go, I wanted to uh, show you guys is Optic Scump and Hex. If you guys don't watch Call of Duty, huge guys in that field have filed a suit alleging the Call of Duty League of an unlawful 100% monopoly so these guys are obviously much bigger than any like creator in 2k right now so it's obviously not as easy they have a lot more resources and money and things like that but i just thought like maybe 2k is a monopoly i don't know if they are i'm not saying 100 that would win in court whatever but maybe someone could go at 2k for that as well i mean they're getting sued right now for shutting down their old servers too fast and things like that so i don't know we've all thought for a long time that 2k it's it's a possibility that they are a monopoly if you guys know what that is but anyway i just literally went 18 straight minutes without pausing so please drop a like for me man like i said earlier if any of this has upset you drop a like on the video let's get this out to more people and also it helps me out a lot so thank you so much but guys Drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and click this video right here if you want to see the last news video to really see what we were talking about. Like, if you missed it, it is very important because they literally said our VC is not real. They said a lot of things recently, and you might not have seen it. You need to check this out right here. Click it, tap it, whatever you got to do. I'm about to be out of here, so you might as well, bro. One take. We did this in one take, and I'm out. Peace.